Rogers, Chris Kringle. Kringle Rogers. <laughs> Popcorn reaction, that's what I call it. Popcorn reaction. If you're new to the channel, hey, thanks for stopping by. I know you were just looking up different reactors to see what was out there, and you came across me, and you didn't even mean to come here. But you're here, and I appreciate you very much. I want you to be relaxed. I'm completely relaxed. I have nothing on underneath the camera. <laughs> now, I've seen Child's Play one time. That was three million years ago. Me and Odin was watching the shit on a Betamax. But I did see it once. I want to go back and watch the original with adult eyes. Some say it was a sleeper hit, $9 million budget, $42 million box office. Shit, that doll is creepy without any script or camera. Just sitting there, smiling. Chris Sarandon, the fucking one of the best Draculas on, on, on film. Brad Dorf, you know you're going to get a fucking performance. Alex Vincent played Andy. Uh, child actors that grow up, they all creep me out. They creep me out as adults. Like, that's you? Mm, creepy. We've done enough talking. Let's get to the action. I got the strangler. Oh, shit. Got on them Rick James classics, a trench coat, and a bullet in the leg. Rough for this guy already. Give it up, Ray! It's over! See what I'm saying? Those shits is creepy as hell. Damn. He's like, damn, how many times I gotta shoot this prick? Power play hockey. Ooh. That looks like fun. Oh, God, I'm dying. No matter what! You're kind of letting them know where you are there, Chuck. <laughs> He's bleeding that shit went through. Again, why the fuck is you making so much noise? Damn, he is bleeding out terribly. Dude, that little ass door. Why you keep standing around in the same place? Go look! Everybody in there should be dead. What kind of explosive Doctor Strange bang was that? Definitely fucked up your sweater, and I hate that. I mean, you were looking around for like 15 minutes. He was screaming the whole fucking time and bleeding. Isn't that like an 80s birthday party, baby? Are you still friend, <laughs> 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 Andy's adorable. Where is your, where's your mother? You know, Annie's in here about to burn the whole house down. This is about to be a whole different type of movie. Oh, he is very independent. Boy, have I got news Jesus today. Christ. Now you good guy. Who are you making cereal That's for? Right. The bug and men in black? Sugar. More. 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 Good guy. Look at that creepy bum. We even Make it out of here. Blink our eyes when... That shit is creepy as shit. And I'm not sure which one I'm more afraid of, the big one or the little Every one. Good oh my so god, where is your mother? Damn, you we put a half a pound of country crock on there. Right out of here. Because you're definitely not in trouble for burning down the kitchen. How many years old are you? Okay. Hell no, I wouldn't want to start with the small first, not small one either. Hey, I think they're going to be okay. We'll just have to take them up just a couple of inches. Why your mama bought you a big-ass box of clothes? Yeah, children will do that to you. I had my son tell me that one time. I didn't want this. I said, good, well, I'll take it back. Well, it costs a hundred bucks. Yeah, the good guy, though. There's a peddler in the alley behind the store, and I think he's got one. Yeah, well, I told you. Oh, uh, how much do you want for it? Fifty bucks. There you go, lady. May it bring you and your kid a lot of joy. Huh? Thank you. Ginger I think I dated him. Oh, no. And they come in loud as shit. Clay, are you happy with your job here? Uh, no, motherfucker. I, she's not. Hey, chill out. Well, I may have something better for you. What? 
Yeah, and these little outfits this is dope. Groceries. I love watching my kids happy. I love it. Good guy. Something, isn't he? Yeah, he's something all right. You gonna get that shit out of here? My room. It took me a while to realize who the redhead is. Grease. I love your Battlestar Galactica sweater skirt defensive lineman shoulder pads in that sweater. It's fantastic. I love it. She got those Princess Bride boots on. But why is your mama at the jewelry store so late? I'm trying, what the hell, what store is she at? I've never actually worked in a department store jewelry section, so. so she has on a sweater over her other sweater. Okay. You ever see some shit in the corner of your eye? Maybe that's what she think in the corner of her eye. Now that's twice you done heard something, pretty woman. Twice you ain't gotten up? Okay. Are you double shoulder pattering it up? Is that shoulder pads on top of shoulder pads? Holy shit! Andy, is that you? What number jersey are you? He did all of that while you was reading the book. This the part where I wake Andy up, put a coat on him, and we leave. Ah, that's what I do. She just gonna have to deal with the fact that I heard some shit in her apartment. No, get your ass home now. Yeah. Wrap up more? the jury or whatever the fuck y'all uh, do over there. No. Yeah, give Andy a kiss. You're not gonna do you ain't gonna go see what Andy did this shit? Not without a fly swatter and leaves. What the fuck's in the plan? And she gotta take the bus home. And she got shoulder pads on her coat. I love it. And you just let her through. What type of police guard are you? And you did too. And you did? I'm firing all of y'all. Damn, that little baby doll is strong as shit. Shit. Wait, whoa, whoa. What are you even doing? I live here. I'm going to my motherfucking house. Get off of me, trench coat mustache. Yo, I would be losing my shit. Are you crazy? Get off my couch. Where the fuck is my child? Who the fuck is that? What's wrong? Where's Maggie? She had an accident. She fell from your kitchen window. <sighs> no. You alright? No, I'm not alright, motherfucker! My friend I was watching my child jumped out of my fucking kitchen window while I was at work with my shoulder pads on, selling jewelry at best, or wherever the fuck she works at. Uh, Andy's babysitter Andy. just jumped through the window. You got on your feet. You're Ooh, too big. This, huh? There's a gun. Is that a cowboy hat? Andy. Yeah. Some more shoulder pads. I love it. But yeah, that's fucked up. Uh, was it by design that her bathroom towel matches her outfit perfectly? Oh, somebody else had a Chucky doll. They ain't got one like Andy's. Damn, he's gone. No one's asking this little child why he's on a train by himself. Nah, nobody says shit. So this little boy went to the fucking hood by himself. That's the address? Ha <laughs> ha! Damn, check you fast as shit. Got his pistol on the side. Damn. Andy, where you going? Give a gunshots, little man. What makes you think that's Chucky? Chucky! Shit. I'm curious, what the fuck was you shooting at? Maggie fell out of that window. Could you tell me why? <laughs> Cause she fell out. Oh, she did, huh? And you can't, you ain't supposed to be talking to him without his mother present. Y'all know better than that. Get the fuck out of here. Ha ha ha. Oh shit, Daddy, Andy done got he's doing it violent. On purpose. Are you losing your <laughs> shit too? Yeah, you asking the fucking doll to talk. Are you crazy? I mean, he can, but I'm just saying, are you fucking crazy? Yo, your outfits be slamming. I love her colors. Oh, ain't that cute back in the day where you could drink? Water at your sink. 
He could have extra batteries in him. I mean, you won't know until you check his batteries. I guess I'd be a little nervous. But would I? Would you though? Would you though? A fucking toy? Would you instantly believe that shit? Instantly. No! Or would you believe something's wrong with your child? You wouldn't want to. Something tells me all... Oh. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? <laughs> Hell to the no. <laughs> that fucking doll is fucking freaky. I said talk to me, damn it, or else I'm gonna throw you in the fire! You stupid bitch, you filthy <laughs> slut! <laughs> Is a violent little son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You filthy slut. That dog cut your ass out. You weren't expecting that. What you thought he was going to say? Yeah, I'm Chucky. No. Chucky told you to suck his toy meat. You don't want to go down there at this time of night. Who are you talking to? She's all the way down the street in the cab, you idiot. <laughs> Don't want to do that, lady. Driving down the street in a cab? What are you, crazy? Hey! Are you just going to stare at homeless people until you find the dude? Look at this! Kenny Rogers, Chris Kringle. Kringle Rogers. <laughs> that is a dangerous part of town. A candy man be down there, man. You got to be careful. Get your ass out of there, are you crazy lady? There you go. Bum pimping. Oh, oh, he's gonna yeah. try to rape Big. her. Oh, Christ, he's a cop. Did you get the doll? I, I, I don't know nothing about no doll. Yo, you, now talk! A, a burned out toy store on Wabash. That's where I got it. She is trying. She is trying so hard. Oh, shit! running around the car, but I'm just saying. This is 88. This is about a fucking mother fighting for her child. A mother will lose her mind over her child. Are you serious? His nickname was Chucky. And he spent a lot of time with this man. Now what we have to do is find him before Chucky does. The last night I got shot. You know something? It hurt. More human you become. You got me into this, you get me out. How did he get you in? You did it? Because you're an abomination. And you have to be stopped. Nah, no, that wasn't a good move. You know, I thought something like this might happen. Give me that. Sure, how do you want it? Broken leg? Oh! How do I get out of this body? Oh! Tell me you died, John. The transfer. Your soul out of the doll. Into the, that of the first human being you revealed your true self to. <laughs> I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I have a date with a six year old boy. <laughs> so long, John. I thought he was gonna go grab a knife or some fire. Were you calling the police? He can see the chair. Kill him. Bitch, I don't know how. Can't you see I've been stabbed? In my Bobby Brown outfit. Help me, help me! Help me! Someone can kill me! Chucky is here, Chucky's here! Oh, you know who that is? See. He used to chase David Banner around the country. Let me 
little boy crying in that room. Why y'all got him in that room for? Oh, that just pissed me off, man. You're not dealing with a, a regular child. And he's fucking smart. He is six years old, running for his life. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, you're doing good. Keep your eyes open. Hold that knife. Oh, shit. Oh, it's the dude that chases the hawk. I'm not gonna need that. And he's got blue blockers on, and it's pretty awesome. Oh! oh. Out of there! Oh! They gonna think Andy did that shit. Gosh, so mighty! The one that was at the station house. Have you seen him anywhere? Right. Where are you going? What the fuck are you talking about? Fuck, little fucking crazy little fucker. Andy is a smart little boy. Ugly doll. Fuck you. All right, Andy, think, think. No, not the closet. No. How do you know to go to your house? I don't know. Andy got the wheels ticking. He done thought of something. Come on, buddy. What you got? Andy, ready for him. His little fire engine shirt. This yellow turtle name like a little Ronald McDonald killer. Get him, Andy. Oh, shit. He's got a knife. Oh, no. No, you got to get somewhere. He's got a knife. Oh, look out, Andy! You little bastard. You recognize that. That shit blew you up last time, that green screen lightning. <laughs> oh, shit! Look out! You don't never pay attention! Come on, Mike, look out! Peach lamps. Oh, shit, he got the back! is fucking useless! Damn it, Karen! One match! Come on, Andy! Please! We're friends to the end! This is the end, friend. Light his ass up again. You know how traumatized that is for a little child to watch? You alright? Are you alright, uh, Mike? Because that baby dog whipped your ass. And you had a gun. You got your ass kicked by a doll. Why would you let Andy go anywhere? Oh, y'all are so fucking stupid! Oh! Hello, Andy. Mike's a police officer! Mommy! Oh, Give me shit. the boy and I'll let you live, do you hear me? How many doors do you have to the same oh. bedroom? Karen, shoot! Shoot! Pretty good shot. She's a really good shot. Hey. Yeah, I got a cop down here. Multiple stab wounds, but the Bruce Door Apartments on North Grand Street. Make it fast. You don't believe me? All right, well, go on. Check it out in the hall. It's all over the place. But don't touch it. If you want to stand me, don't you touch one part of it. <laughs> Don't you take one goddamn part of it! Come on, look, it's as dead as they come, it's dead! Kill him! Not dead! The heart! Shoot him in the heart! Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? You believe me now? No! Yeah? Don't. But who's gonna believe me? Right. Don't tell nobody that shit. Oh, I don't know what to. I don't know what. I don't know what to say. But don't tell. Oh, the doctor's dead at the hospital. Oh, I don't know. If you go out there and tell people it was a doll, your career is over. Your career is over. You're gonna lose Andy. That you're definitely gonna lose him. You might. That might happen anyway. And Andy's going to a crazy house. And maybe the mama too. This is the craziest shit ever. And listen, Mike ain't worth a damn. You hear me? <laughs>
In fact, Charles Lee Ray kicked Mike's ass. The duration of this movie. I mean, granted, he did shoot him, but he blew him up in the toy store. He stabbed him in his fucking chin, strangled him to death with jumping cables, made his car flip. Hey, that dog fucked Mike up. Mike got his ass kicked for most of the movie. Big shout out to Karen. Yeah! She was like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care if you don't believe me. I'm gonna go do something. I completely believed her. Katherine Hicks, fantastic performer. I believed her. There was some things she did that was 80s stupid. But you know the tropes. Her energy as a fucking mom that went from thinking, leave my son alone, to maybe there's something wrong with my son, to know this shit is real and just doing what she had. She was willing to do whatever. She went to the slums to find the bum that sold that dog. She never carried a weapon. She ain't know no martial arts, but God damn it, she did whatever it took to protect her son. Andy is the man. He is the man. He did what he had to do. And at first it was like the idea was, well, you know, Chucky was telling him what to do and Chucky's pretty much an adult. Him and Chucky split and they wasn't friends to the end no more. Andy did what he had to do and he was very smart. He went home, he knew where the key was, he hid in the closet, but he's the one little guy that you would expect to go in a closet because he's a six-year-old child. Child's Play 1988, did you see it? Did you enjoy it? Leave it down in the comment. Popcorn Reaction Showdown, signing off. I'm going to get a bag of famous Amos cookies, some airheads, some lemon heads, a couple of sugar daddies, fun dip, and one can of Jolt Cola. I'll see y'all next time.